that's the sarcopenia, that visceral fat and being sedentary and allowing your muscles to be replaced for from uh, for fat, it happens. It does. You don't have to have cancer to have that, right? And the MRI is such an important tool because it allows us to see the visceral fat and allows us to see also the muscle replacement by fat. Sincerely believe that um, the MRI is a better marker and a better way to evaluate um, for visceral fat than if you do a DEXA scan that gives you your body fat mass. It's because the DEXA scan is gonna tell you like my DEXA scan, oh, you have 44% of fat in your body. 44% is a super big number, but I have, you know, it stays there in my brain and then boom, goes away, you know, and I don't think about that very much. And then I remember that my bones are good. So it kind of, you know, plays with your brain. But when you are with your MRI in front of you, like I was with my MRI, I even have like chest tightness right now. When you have the MRI in front of you and you see that your abdomen is mainly filled with visceral fat and that the visceral fat is like surrounding all your organs. And then I was able to see how little of musculature I have in my abdomen, how the musculature that sustains my body along the, the, the vertebral bodies of my thoracic and my lumbar spine are already diminished and start and replaced by fat. Or I am able to see in my thighs the marbling, like Sean said, that looks like a steak that we're gonna eat. And I am in the back of my mind thinking, I need my legs for me to walk. So yes, the MRI has this huge impact on engaging your vision, engaging your, you really feel in your heart, you feel in your body, like the senses connect. And like I said, just by talking about it, I feel this tightness in my chest because I know that I am way far from being healthy. The good thing is, it is reversible. It is reversible. You can build muscle. You can burn your visceral fat. And I love saying the word burn the visceral fat because it makes me feel empowered, empowered, you know, powerful. Because our body, thank God, has the ability to replace the cells on their cell cycles for each organ, right? So for the skin and for the liver and for the blood cells, we have a cycle in our body that replaces that. We only describe like we are trained in medical school to and in the radiology residency, and I believe in other residencies too, we are trained to focus on the disease and how to treat and how to report in the better way, like uh, for the like a, a scan comes to me for me to read the scan a CT chest or a CT abdomen or an MRI and I am trained to describe for you the positives right do you have cancer do you have inflammation do you have um, any finding that is important for you to follow up uh, but visceral fat got so ingrained that it's normal everybody has visceral fat and I don't know like I don't know why to be honest since we know we now know that visceral fat is the the root the cause of all these other things but it's just like if the visceral fat doesn't have a tumor growing on it like a sarcoma or something we're not going to describe it we describe the sarcoma we describe the liver the fatty liver we describe the fat in the pancreas but like I was discussing with another radiologist and he said, Anna, but if I'm going to describe visceral fat, I'm going to describe visceral fat in all my reports. 